Lieutenant McCann with the Desert Patrol, Mr. Marshall. I was sent to find you. Police? Yes, anti Raider Patrol. Abba, Abba Don't Bay. Don't worry, Abba Bay won't bother you now. We'll be leaving just as soon as you feel better. Oh, no, no. Let's get to the commissioner. We'll get Let's... word to the commissioner. Tell, tell him Myrtle. Myrtle? I know where Myrtle is. I... I can hardly believe that anybody's ever really seen this Myrtle. But if Marshall is right, we can't take any chances. I'm leaving for Sam. I'll send you help. If Hobba Bay ever catches up with you, you'll need it. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. Yeah, danger is my assignment. I get sent to a lot of places I can't even pronounce. They all spell the same thing, no trouble. This time it's Transjordan, where one of our agents, John Marshall, has found the legendary goddess of Dercido. Right now, the country is friendly to us, but whoever has Dercido, or Myrtle, as she's called, can whip the desert tribes into a frenzy. My job is to find John Marshall, the goddess, and see that she falls into friendly hands. It's Thursday when I arrive in Assam. I report to the local authorities, and they give a card to me which reads, Old World Archaeological Society. Thursday, 8 p.m., admit one black tie. <laughs> Since I'm fresh out of tuxedos, I rent one, and at 8 p.m. I present my invitation and start looking for Lieutenant Macam of the Ander Raider Squad. Pardon me, you Steve Mitchell? That's right. Lieutenant Macam, Desert Patrol. Oh, I... Wait a minute, you're an American, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. I was here during the war. I kind of liked it, so I thought I'd stick around. <laughs> Let's go on the terrace so we can talk. Okay. Thanks for that message from Marshal, Lieutenant, but what was the idea of asking me to meet you here? If this business makes any sense at all, Steve, it must start right here. Go ahead. Just before you arrived this evening, I received word from the Desert Patrol that I'd sent to bring Marshal and my guard in. What'd you find out? There was no trace of Marshal or his tent. All they found was a guard dead with a bullet hole in the back of his head. Marshal had babbled something about Hobba Bay. I thought he was delirious, but... You know, I'm not sure now. Who's Hobba Bay? He's a Genghis Khan of our time. He has all the more important tribes working for him. They were content at first just to rob the caravans. I think I can take it from there. You mean, he's the guy that's trying to overthrow the government here? Yeah, and if they ever find this myrtle that Marsha was talking about, they may do just that. Hmm. But how does this archaeologist reception tie in? It's a farewell party for Dr. Bill Mongus, who announced this morning that within 24 hours an expedition would be leaving for the old crusader castle of Elkerik. For a bunch of archaeologists, they seem to be in quite a big hurry. <laughs> Seems like pretty slim evidence. Yeah, not so slim, Steve, when you consider the fact it was only a very short distance from Elkerik that I found Marshall. Ah, that does make a difference. Lieutenant, you and I have got to get on that safari. How are you going to do that, Steve? And Dr. Mongus is only taking one other person. A Carl Macca. Macca? Do you know him? <laughs> like a brother. A uh, black sheep kind. He's the kind of a guy with a great talent for stirring up people for the wrong causes. Speaking of the devil, take a look. When did he get in town? He must have just arrived. He hadn't checked in an hour ago. Maybe I better go have a talk with him. I'll wait here. I want to see when Dr. Mongus leaves. Thank you. You're welcome. How are you, Manka? That voice. Let me see, it was Leipzig, wasn't it? <laughs> Sharp as ever, aren't you, Maker? And American connotations. Steve Mitchell. Still chasing the Holy Grail, Mitchell? <laughs> no, I'm spending most of my time stepping on slimy things that crawl out from under rocks. There is much between us that needs settling. You sure you got time from your rabble-rousing? Prince Jordan is not an American protectorate. I would not advise you to employ your usual pushing tactics here. 
You've got a lot of pushing around coming. I hope I'm here to help. Uh, what are you doing here? My business here is no concern of yours. Oh, I oh. beg your pardon. It was very clumsy of me. Not at all. I should have been looking where I was going. Yes. A very attractive woman. Very. You mean you don't know her? No, but I shall remedy that in time. Good night. Well, Steve, what do you think of Dr. Mongus? <laughs> I haven't met him. Not him, her. That was Dr. Mongus who just ran into Manka. Are you sure? Yeah, why? I've just figured out a way to get on that safari. Are you crazy? Like a fox. Dr. Mongus doesn't know Carl Manka. Are you sure about that? Bet my life on it. You know, if you do what I think you're going to do, you may lose that bet. Well, let's you and I pay a call. You may change your mind. That's a good deal. Who is that? Lieutenant McCam, Desert Legion. Just a moment. What you want, Lieutenant? I want to talk to you. You know Steve Mitchell? Yes. I'll see your papers. Mm, they seem to be in order. What do you think, Steve? Yeah, they look all right to me. Will that be all, Lieutenant? No, you're under arrest. You're talking about Charles. There's no room around here for pickpockets. A pickpocket? Just stand still, Buster. Let the Lieutenant frisk you. Steve Mitchell. Passport stealing is a pretty serious offense, Manka. Let me see that. This is illegal. You're abusing the authority of your office. What are we going to do with this guy, Steve? Well, if I was you, I think I'd lock him up and uh, toss the book at him and throw the key away. That's a good idea. Come on, Manka, let's go. Just a moment. Let me get my jacket. Come on, let's go. This is highly irregular, Lieutenant. See you later, Steve. I... Steve, our man's on ice. You know, this masquerade of yours might be a big flop. We'll just have to take that chance, Lieutenant. But you're not sure that Dr. Mongus does not know Carl Michael? Didn't seem to when she bumped into him at the reception. What? Well, can you think of any better way to join that safari? No, I can't. All right. Do you think you can keep him on ice till I get back? I think so. Oh. Here's your passport. Manka's name, your picture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah? Carl Manka? Who's calling? Bill Mongus. The answer is yes, Doctor. This is Carl Manka. You're cautious. That's a quality I admire. Can you come up to my suite? I'm halfway there now. Where is it? Well, in that case, I'd better hurry and open the door. It's 401. Right. Dr. Mongus? Yeah. Well, wish me luck, Lieutenant. Uh, Steve, find a way to take me with you, will you? You'll need all the help you can get. Maybe you got something. Please come in. Thank you. I saw you downstairs. I've admired your work for a long time. Your work deserves a lot of admiration, too. You understand, Mr. Manka, we have to be very careful. You have some proof of your identity? Oh. You're very photogenic. <laughs> Thank you. Who was the man I saw you talking with downstairs? Oh, his name was uh, Steve Mitchell, some kind of a government agent, I think. I thought so. That's why we're leaving several days early. Hmm. Uh, look, Doctor... Uh, you must call me Bill. Bill? Mm-hmm. 
I would hardly associate you with a name like that. <laughs> the only thing my mother ever wanted out of life was a boy. So she got you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, if you don't mind my saying it, the name doesn't seem to fit you. That's very nice. And now to business. Harbor Bay's ready. His troops are well armed and well provisioned. The only thing he lacks is the Decido Goddess. By the time we arrive at his headquarters, he'll have obtained its whereabouts. Then you will use your own methods to whip the uh, tribesmen into a frenzy, and uh, Harbor Bay, at the psychological moment, will produce the Decido, and we will both hold very important positions in the new government. Are you sure that uh, Harbor Bay can produce this Decido goddess? That is Harbor Bay's affair. We leave the hotel at dawn. Uh, who's going? The two of us and the native guides. And Merka. Merka? My aide. I was told to bring only you. He comes pretty highly recommended by friends, and I'll need him. Very well. Good night, Carl. Good night. <laughs> I still can't say it. Good night. <laughs> Good night. The dawn comes up like a blast furnace 14 hours later. It's hotter than the hinges. Bill is about as mum on what's coming up as the camel I'm riding. And what Calm has already told me about everything he knows, we reach the ruins of El Terek Castle two hours after dark. Bill leads us down into one of the underground passages to her quarters. Doctor, when do we get to meet Haba Bay? When he sends for us. He's questioning the prisoner about uh, the object we seek. I can imagine how he questions. But it is effective. His is a system of persuasion that's been handed down for many generations. Doctor, you're most familiar with the people and country of Transjordan, are you not? It's all I know. I was born in Egypt and reared in Syria. What made you become interested in archaeology? Mm, the sands, I guess. Wondering where they'd been, what they'd seen. You know, in no place on Earth does the history of civilized man date as far in the past as here in the Near East. The Crusaders built this castle, didn't they? Yes. El Carrick was built about, oh, 1140, and uh, commanded the trade routes through the lands beyond the Jordan. There are miles of subterranean passages and tunnels. And uh, this Dercito goddess is hidden here someplace? Carl, you had no right to tell Merck about the Dercito. Well, I trust him. There's too much at stake to batter the name about. I'm sorry if I've offended you. I'll leave. It's all right. It wasn't your fault. Forgive my outburst. Good night, Marka. Bye. Carl. I'm sorry about that Dercito thing. So am I. How can anything that old tie in with today? Well, this particular goddess dates back to the days of the Crusades. The statue was stolen by one of Richard's men, but legend has kept her alive for the desert tribes. And you mean they'd latch on to something like that as a cause for a revolution? Oh, yes. It's a symbol of strength. And they've followed strong leaders for more than 2,000 years. <laughs> this Myrtle must be quite a gal. Myrtle? Yeah, that's the family name of the Decedos. I think I'll turn in. Good night. Good night. Yusuf. Merka is a member of the anti-raider patrol. I will kill him. No, no. If one man can deceive us, so can another. Let's put Carl Manka to a test. Possibly I should have knocked. <laughs> oh, come in. Something the matter? I just wanted to know how long you've known your aide, Merka. Why do you ask? Come now, Carl. That's hardly a suitable answer. Well, I have known very long. I met him in a Sam. He came to me highly recommended as an excellent man. What's the matter? Don't you think he's an excellent man? No, he probably is an excellent man in his field. Merck is a policeman. You're crazy. Mm -mm. Tonight when we shook hands, I noticed that he was wearing a ring with the insignia of the Desert Legion. Uh, well, maybe he could have stolen it or something. 
I've given Yusuf instructions to kill him. What? You must believe me. Carl Micah knows nothing about this. Don't get excited. If what you say is true, we will find out when he arrives. But there's no reason to doubt Micah. I've admitted I belong to Desert Legion. We gotta get you out of here. Watch out, Steve. Huh. Why did you come tearing over here? To help Mirka? Looked like I helped him. Then why were you in such a hurry? Well, you told me that he was desert police. I figured your guard would be no match for him. He wasn't. You mean Mirka killed Yusuf? I'm afraid I owe you an apology. I thought for a minute that you were an imposter too. Well, why don't you try thinking maybe I'm not? Where are you going? To my room. I'll fix you some tea. Thanks, but no thanks. Bay gonna make us wait. Until he finds out where the Decito is. For a man who kills so efficiently at one moment, you certainly sicken easily the next. Killing is one thing. But slow death, torture, that's for the dark ages. I am Haba Bay, Dr. Mangos. It's a great pleasure to meet you, Abba Bay. And this is... This is Carl Monk, eh? That's right. I have heard a great deal of you. Welcome. I take it you haven't found the location of the Decido yet. He is a tough one. But how much can one man take? Soon he will talk. Who is he? You have never heard of him. An American agent named John Marshall. Incidentally, I sent you a letter telling you to meet Dr. Mangos in Assam. May I see it? I destroyed it. Naturally. And now, if you'll excuse me, Marshall must have regained consciousness. Uh, Abba Bay, would you like me to try my way, see if I can get him to talk? And what is your way? Probably not the same as yours, but what's the difference if I get what you want? Might be a good idea. Carl was most effective in eliminating that spy last night. All right, Monka, see what you can do. I'm certain the Decito statue we seek is somewhere in these ruins. Marshal knows where. May I borrow a dagger? Your choice. Little ones are faster. Excuse me. John, it's Steve Mitchell. So they got you too. Oh, with all my heart. Good. Oh. Cuts you down. No, it'll give you away. Nuts to that. Come on over here now. Have you, have you got a plan? No. I had to stop in some way. I told Abba Bay I'd give him the information you got. No. No, I won't, Steve. It's no go. I won't tell you. Sooner or later, they'll get to you. It's better if you don't know where Decido is. Have you seen it? Oh, it really exists. It's here in the castle, but they mustn't get it. Wrong. Oh! Don't worry, they won't. You see? Manka's quite a valuable man. Manka is a valuable man. But is he Manka? You have reason to doubt him? The best. My own instincts. Go to the Hotel Daiban in Assam. Go to Manka's room. Bring me proof that he and this man are one and the same. Tomorrow we shall know. Grown again, John. It's no use, Steve. Do what I ask. Kill me. You're talking crazy. No, I'm talking sense. I tell you, the next time around, I'll cave in. There won't be any next time around. 
What we'll do is stall for time. I'll tell Hava Bay that you'll lead us to that gadget in the morning. But if you don't think of something, what then? Then you will lead us to Myrtle. There's bound to be a lot of excitement when it's found. I, I don't follow you. An excited man is a careless man. No, John! No! No, I won't! I won't! Why did you cut him down? You told me to do it my own way. But the groans! There were lumps on his head. I was rubbing them. You see, Hover Bay, Carl's methods are different. How did he respond? A little noisy, but I got what we wanted. Good. Where is it? In the castle. <gasps> take us to it. This man is in no condition to take us any place. He could be carried. <laughs> well, there's your answer. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it tomorrow. You have done very well, Manka. My dagger. And now I think it would be wise if you remained here overnight. What's the idea? To gather additional information, of course. in the day after tomorrow. You spent a dreamless night. Yeah. I'm sorry I cannot offer you the comforts to which you are accustomed. However, I am able to afford one luxury. The morning newspaper. I'm sorry it's several days old, but there's an item on page one which should interest you. All of a sudden, I'm glad John Marshall hasn't told me where Myrtle is hidden. What you don't know, you can't tell them. Haba Bay says something which shows me our only chance is to take him to Dercido and watch for a break. Please do not be heroic. I can still torture Marshall until he breaks. You win. I don't know your true identity, but you're a man of wisdom. Let me see the inscription on the bottom. There is no need. For a thousand years, my people have sung the legend of the goddess. It is real. One move out of any of you, and I'll blow that goddess into a thousand pieces. Watch me, Johnny. Right. Got it. I got it. Myrtle's been a pretty bad girl. When we get her into the right hands, maybe she'll be a good girl, Steve. Yeah. All right. After Marshall recuperates a little, we head back towards civilization, lugging our cargo of prisoners and the all-important statuette. I look at the lumps on Marshall's head and wonder what will happen if he ever meets another girl named Myrtle. Mm -hmm.